barbecued skillet beans. We are starting with a little bit of finely chopped meaty bacon, but this you can totally leave out if you wanna make it vegetarian, okay? We're getting a good size skillet, a 12 inch skillet, nice and hot over medium high heat. If you're using no bacon, add about two tablespoons of oil. If you're using bacon, just a little squirt of olive oil or canola oil cooking spray to get the bacon going. About a quarter pound of that finely chopped bacon for a 29 ounce can or two 14 ounce cans of either pinto beans or black beans. So these are the basic building blocks of barbecue sauce for us. Worcestershire, cider vinegar, light brown sugar, tomato sauce or ketchup. With or without hot sauce is up to you. With. With or without mustard is up to you. With. With or without smoked pimenton or smoked paprika, up to you. With. Always onion and garlic. So a lot of pepper, a little bit of salt, one small onion. I used a Vidalia, a sweet onion, cooked out. Once the onion is tender, grate in a couple of cloves of garlic. In with our quarter pound of meaty bacon, which is optional. Give that a stir. And now we're going to add in our liquids. This is cider vinegar, roughly three tablespoons. So three turns of the pan, one, two, three. Keep your head back unless you need to clear out your sinuses. Roughly three tablespoons of light brown sugar. I use pourable. One, two, three. Roughly three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. One, two, three. Eight ounces, one scant cup, even Steven of tomato sauce or ketchup. One and one half tablespoons of dry mustard or three tablespoons of prepared if you want it spicy. One tablespoon of pimenton or smoked paprika. And this becomes your barbecue base. Now we're gonna add our 29 ounce can or two 14 ounce can of pinto or black bean. Let the sauce thicken, then turn them off until you're ready to serve and just reheat them briefly. You want a little hot sauce in the beans? Heck yes. Okay, so these are our skillet barbecue beans. Let it cook down till it thickens up and then we top them with some green onions or scallions. 